Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today is Friday and it's sneak peek day and thank you so much Diamond Art Club for sending this out so I could share it with everyone. This is Letting Go by Puffy Gator and it's a round drill diamond painting as you can see here and it is a 50.7 by 52.7 centimeter or a 20 by 21 inch diamond painting. Let's go ahead and get into it. How are you doing today? Long time to see. I did have to take a little break from YouTube and other, you know, Twitch and all that because I've been really, really sick and um, I'm getting better. Um, but yeah, it's I haven't been able to make like a long video and I needed some time off. So um, thank you for hanging in there. <laughs> If you haven't been to my channel before, um, I'm Rachel. I go by Rachel Ray on the internet and I talk about diamond painting and other crafts. Um, and on Fridays we have sneak peeks sometimes from Diamond Art Club when they do a new release. So this painting is going to come out on Saturday and it'll be released at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Ruby and Diamond members and 9.30 a.m. for the general release. So if you are a Ruby or Diamond member, you get like a head start, but they do actually save diamond painting kits in case they do sell out for some reason, but I don't know if that's really a thing. That was a thing that happened a lot in 2020, but these days I don't know if that's really... Anyway, none of my business, but let's have a look at this toolkit. I just want to show you what the average toolkit looks like. So you'll get a little bag. This has a bag of baggies. Somebody asked me if it's enough bags for the colors in the project, so I'm just going to check real quick. So there are 25 bags inside of this bag, which makes 26, and I really doubt that is um, that this painting has 26 colors, but we'll see when we get into it. Um, so you get a bag of bags, and then here we've got the diamond painting pen and the grip. That'll make it easier to hold on to. These always match in color, but they're not always the same in every project, if that makes sense. So you might get an orange one or a red one or whatever. They also give you a roll of washi tape. This one's really pretty. There's something, some kind of weird bubble thing going on down there, but it's very pretty with the, the flowers. And they've given you a cover minder. A cover minder holds back the plastic film. You put one magnet on the bottom of your project and the other one on the top to hold back that plastic. We've got two multi-placers, two plate sh plates of heart-shaped wax, and <clears throat> you can hear it, sickness is coming through, uh, the diamond painting tray with the stopper there uh, so your drills don't go flying around. If you have more questions or if you're a beginner at diamond painting and you wanna know more, I do have a playlist of videos that I've made and I highly recommend that you check out that how to diamond paint playlist or if you don't have time to like peruse and see you know what you're looking for the best video to look out for is the FAQ video and I'll have a link up here in the eye uh, definitely check that out if you're brand new at diamond painting <clears throat> go ahead and get into the dust sleeve here and We'll see. So that's the diamond painting. We've got the diamonds here. Oh, no, I was going to say, how many colors do we have? We have 39 colors. So there are not enough bags in there in the toolkit, but it will help you as you're going along. And it's a great way to um, put your leftover diamonds in so you can save them for the future if you do that. Um, it is something that I do. Um, this right here is a little... Thank you and a tutorial. Um, but again, if you need tutorials, I've got videos for you as well. This is the original image by Puffy Gator. It's so beautiful. I love pink, purple, and orange together. There's something so, I don't know, very like California about it, like very warm and comforting. Here are our symbols. And we've got two AB diamonds and three fairy dust diamonds. So I'll be having a look at these in just a moment. I'm gonna go through each color and you can fast forward through that if you want to, but um, we will look at where they go on the canvas. So without further ado, here's our diamond painting. Um, this is so beautiful and fuzzy and soft and such high quality. I love their canvases. It really is worth the money 
and there's already a Luna fur on it. <laughs> because of course there is. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope that you've had a great summer. I know that, well, for some of you it's winter. Um, I hope that you've had a wonderful season and that you're getting excited for the upcoming seasons. Um, I've got more updates, more life updates for you coming in, in, in a video very soon. Check it out. That is so pretty. And it doesn't look like it's a lot of confetti or anything. It looks like if you take out a section and you look at any particular section, you're going to have quite a bit of color blocking, but also quite a bit of detail. I love how small it is. Like a 50 by 52, it's like, it's just so doable in my opinion. I remember back in the day, that a 40 by 50 was my sweet spot and honestly they're easy to work on when they're this size they're easy to like move and take with you and yeah so I highly recommend getting a couple of these smaller kits if you look here we've got do what makes you sparkle the catchphrase at the top we've got a legend on both sides the edges are all scalloped so that it doesn't fray you've got the details about the art and the artist here some social media information and also the warranty information and if we want to have a close-up look at the symbols you can see here that they are very clear and easy to read and I just suggest that when you're diamond painting that you just go from the symbol that you can most easily see in that section and then work towards the harder ones especially if there's a section that has just computer generated symbols I know that those are very difficult for some people but just go with the ones that pop out at you the easiest and then you know work whittle your way down the colors that way so let's go ahead and have a look at these diamonds I know y'all don't want to hear me cough so let's get started. 341, 962, 352, 209, 309, 3801, 157, 351. Beautiful colors. 3804, 602, 3713. Here's our first fairy dust diamond. You can see it says Z, 3865. If we look really closely, which may be a little bit difficult, Luna. Are you okay? It might be a little difficult to see on camera, but there's a glitter shine on the tops of the drills, the rounded part. These are very pretty. It looks like snow. Here's another fairy dust diamond. This is 554. And this one has a very faint purple shimmer at the top. We've got 553, 3747, 600, 3705, 961. Here's our first AB. This is 127. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And what that means is that it has an iridescent coating on the top of the drill. So instead of that like glitter effect, it has an iridescence on it. It's very pretty. It makes it shine. Kind of hard to capture sometimes in my lighting but it's got like a, sh a color shift from green to yellow to pink to purple and it kind of captures the radi radiance of the colors around it. We got 3806 as well on this strip. And then we have 3326, 3854, Z3855, which is another fairy dust diamond. This one is a gold color glitter on the top. A little difficult to capture, but it is gorgeous. Very subtle, but I like them. 3756, 3837, 902, 350, 153, 353, 814, 718, 129, another AB. This one is yellow. It has another. Aurora Borealis Iridescent up Topping, 321, 
3371 and 3041. All right, so let me go ahead and find where these specialty drills go. Starting with the ABs, there is number one is kind of like the toppy one. This one comes around the ear, around the head here, and then it kind of just goes along this whole side here, um, just highlighting the rays of sun coming out from behind this beautiful little lion cub. And then number two is a yellow AB, and that actually also goes around the ear here. Uh, some of the whiskers that are hitting the sunlight. I don't know what you would call them. They're, you know, they're like the whiskers, but for the eyes, but they're not eyelashes. They're kind of eyebrows. I don't know. Anyway, so there's some of them there. Then we have the fairy dust diamonds. So there was uh, the backslash, which is like a purple one. There's lots of it in here, all in these flowers around here. They're kind of petals in the middle, some in the whiskers as well, down here and up here. Uh, some in the, I don't know what you call that. It looks like eyeliner, <laughs> if it was a person, in there and in the flower. Then we have another one, 3855, which is the E, the kind of interesting E symbol, which is down here in this yellow part here. We've got, I just saw some over on this side of the yellows, also on the ear, around this area where the sun is kind of hitting this rose. There's some dots of it here along this edge and along here as well. So lots of it there. And then the last one is the 3865. So that is the dot. It's a white fairy dust and I see some here and a lot of it hiding in here. So coming up along the side again with the AB. So it's AB and fairy dust right here. And that's it. That's all of the specialty diamonds on this on this painting and it's so pretty. It's going to be really nice to see it come to life, to play with the colors and just to have another really pretty puffy gator in my life. I love this artist. Please check out their work down below. I'll have links. And if you are new to Diamond Art Club and you're looking for a discount code, uh, my discount code only works for people who've never purchased from Diamond Art Club before because I am an affiliate. That's just the way it rolls, but there's no pressure. You don't have to use the, the code. I do appreciate it though for you considering. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out and leave me a comment and let me know what you're thinking about getting this weekend from Diamond Art Club. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care everyone. Bye!